Hi, my name is Josh Orpen and I'll be playing the character of Axel. Axel is the homeless musician character in the film who kind of uh, meets Gail and accompanies her on her journey throughout the film. Um, really excited, looking forward to kind of unpacking the character and uh, really working on the, the confident exterior that he projects. But, you know, really you discover later that underneath he's a bit of a softy, he's a bit of a lost soul who's just trying to make meaningful connections. And I'm really looking forward to seeing him find that connection with, um, through his relationship with Gail. Yeah, obviously uh, this is a great film. We've got a fantastic crew, we're ready to go. Uh, at the moment we're looking for as much support as we can get, so please uh, try and help us to finish this project by supporting independent film in Melbourne, Melbourne-based filmmakers um, like Lee, uh, actors like myself, and thank you. Do you hate me too? Oh, Axel, I could never hate you. You've done nothing but help me. What I hate is that I can't even be the man she wanted me to become. Just a street rat. Playing music for peanuts. I have no job, no home, nothing to call my own, except this guitar. And I can't but feel like a failure. More than anything, I feel like I've met, let her down. I've done nothing for her to be proud of. After all these years, I've just become a nobody. That had her cremated. It was my stupid ass idea to mix her into the soil and plant this gum tree. Me and Dad only lasted two more years here. He ended up moving and getting me married and I, I couldn't be around at all, so I up and left. And now, when I want to see her, I have to sneak in at night. And that's my... I have to sneak in at night. This old lady, she hates me. She's called the cops so many times, like, like I'm some bad person. I just can't help but feel like I've let her down, you know? I have no job. I have no home, no one who loves me. After all these years, I've done nothing with my life for her to be proud of. I've just become a nobody. So, Steph, yes. how did we meet? <laughs> we met because of Trevor Hanna, who's also in the film. Um, so I was doing backstage in a theatre show at Heidelberg Theatre, and he um, one night looked at me and said, Hey Steph, have you ever like, tried to do film acting? And I was yeah. like, what do you mean? He goes, oh, you've just got the right look, the right age. Like, how old are you? And I'm like, um, <laughs> why? <laughs> and then he's like, oh, I've got this guy, I'm in it, and um, maybe you should email him and see what happens. Yeah. And, I had five people auditioning, mm. one was from the UK as well, and one was, I think, in New Zealand, or she ended up in New Zealand, oh. and I had five girls, and my gut told me, I bet you it's going to be the girl with no experience, no photos, <laughs> no this, but she'll end up being this, this thing, and, um, and it was you. Yeah. What inspired you to make mm. this film? It was inspired by The Wizard of Oz and my love for that film and I um yeah, I just I, I went to see a, I went to see like Nikki Webster doing Dorothy in a play at the Regent Theatre with my mum and I was sitting there going, God, you know, like this could easily be turned into a modern day movie yeah. and I came up with a it was originally like a drag queen as Leone and yeah, I just had this, you know, like a heavy metal guy, rocker boy, mm, and tin <clears throat> yeah. yeah, and then this uh, groundskeeper, gardener guy mm. for the scarecrow, and so it just kind of, and I had it like for twelve years in my back pocket, and I told so many people, like I think every feature film I made, it was like I would talk about it on set and go, like, oh, this was a buzz movie, and so now that I've made it. People have been like, oh, I remember you talking about this movie <laughs> on set of that film. Five years ago, yeah, yeah. 
So I never worked with four leads, so it was uh, it was challenging. We did. I think it was a little bit of a family, which I guess yeah. the, the movies are about as well. It's about you know what what defines a family, how you bring everyone together, and friends yeah, become your friends family. Friends becoming family. So what was it like being on set on a film for the first time? Nerve wracking was the first word that came into mind. Because um, you've never been in front of a camera. Nah. Just theatre. Yeah, so, um, and obviously you learn a lot from theatre, like to project and make mm. things a bit bigger, and mm. then you were telling me, no, small, bring it yes, in. Yes, I like, remember. Oh, God. Bring it down. Less, bring less it is more. Less, less. Less. Okay. And you so, were learning how the, the distance, because you're so used to audiences being so far away, yeah. I remember you learning about how close the camera, and we would show you. How images close. of like hey you this is how close you are mm. like like a little look to the side or whatever and i learned to relax that because i remember in my in the first day i was a statue because i didn't know how much i could move in the frame like, yes, I hadn't yeah, even yeah, had that yeah, yeah 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 so then once <laughs> i knew that and I, I watched pat and and trev eventually worked it out too like how much he could move, move oh, i am sorry i most definitely did not mean to hold you up well he most definitely has <laughs> okay, for me, being a theatre person, it's rehearsal that I get, yeah, and that's yeah. where I develop my character. Yeah. Because I've never done a film before, yeah. I didn't realise how much I needed, I should have prepared. Mm. I just didn't know. I was sort of winging it, and then I went, oh, because even yeah. the, the character of Gail, because mm. the script was changing a little bit. And you only had a table read with the actors once. Oh, after the sorry. 36, 36. Uh, do you take all the girls here? No, just you. I'll be right back. Stay here. <clears throat> Come in. I'm not going in there. Gail, it's all right. Come on. No way. Who lives there? Here? I used to live here. Used to? Me, past tense. Shh. Be quiet. We don't want to wake anyone. Wake who? Who's the anyone? I wanted to show you this. But, but who lives here? Some old couple. Cranky as hell. We won't be long. Yeah, so I was a little bit like, oh, this is different. I don't know yeah. how to prepare for this properly. And Trevor, of course, he was so helpful. He yeah. just, you know, he's like, just relax. Like, there's, I think there's a take, like, in the bloopers where I'm, you know, before we start the scene, I'm holding my cup of mm. tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm fiddling with the tea bag. And he yeah, just goes yeah. to me, he's like, Steph, relax. And I'm yeah, just yeah. like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, um, it was good that you had already worked with Trev, knew him, trusted him. So mm. that was your day one. And... It worked out good that that was day one. Yeah. Mm. And it was about being scared in the shed and, and and being scared, but then trying to trust him. And there was like a lot going on. And, yeah. And, and we had the, and we had um <laughs> so we had birds that were my, it was my uncle's garage, mm. and we had those birds next door. And then I got my cousins to bring them in the scene and put them in the background so that when we go to edit the sound, everything, if we hear birds, we're like, okay, well, he's they got birds, birds in the shed. Mm. And what was great is like the character of Gail, so I talk about this a lot to other people, is she kind of evolves from a girl to a woman in in the story and you were doing that. I was. In front of our eyes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, because I was, I'm as a person, I was very, very shy. I probably would have never done a film, to be honest. Like okay. I would have just told you, no, I can't do it for yeah. whatever reason. Um, but for some reason, I think because Trevor was involved and I knew Trevor, I thought, oh no, just try it. Like... What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. you're being terrible in the film. But, um, yeah, I just remember growing this confidence on set. There are a few people that said, oh, Steph's getting really confident. Like, because um, from yeah. compared to day one. I was a scared little girl. Yeah. <laughs> the first one. So, yeah, you're right. Like, during, and by the end of the film, um, which was great that you did it, like, you pretty much did it chronologically. Like, it made, you know. Kind of a little sort bit. Sort of. I mean, there were some bits we did go back. Yeah. But, um. I would say even when, you know, when Leonie and Gail become friends mm. and all that, like that chemistry grew really quickly. Yeah. And I think even Pat, like watching him, you know, turn into a woman, you know, for the film, mm. like for, for me, I was like, oh, well, he's doing that. I can, yeah. he's wearing heels for heaven's sakes. I'm fine. <laughs> so, so you, yeah, you had your yeah. hair, make, hair and makeup and ma makeover and yeah. you were wearing clothes you would never usually wear yeah. and stuff. Even the makeup thing. Yeah. Getting used to that. Yeah. Like, and, you know, Josh grew his hair for the film with his ears pierced. What scene did you have? What scene did you have most fun most shooting? Most fun. Most fun. Was um, when we're packing up 
um, one of the character's belongings in the car. Yeah. And I just remember the blocking of it was really nice. Like I was just facing into the camera, packing our boxes and stuff and people and little hints of what was going to happen next with certain characters and yeah. nice little scenes as we were going, like all in one shot. Yeah. And we were just all having fun and it was really nice. Yeah. And I know Trevor had a really lovely moment on that day too. Yes, he did. Yeah, and like Josh and I had a little cute moment. Yes. He walked off. I'm like, hey. It was all a very cute moment. <laughs> very thing cute. Was cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was originally supposed to be in different takes, and I was just like, let's put the camera in the car and let's just shoot out. And, and we had problems with like some construction on the, se- on the street. Oh, that's right, yeah. And so we were limited, and I said, let's just shoot from inside out. And we blocked it. And through go- you guys being so theatre experienced, I was able to shoot block it like a play and and it was nice it was just like wow this it is, just flowed it, it flowed really nice, and natural. it wasn't like dead air or any kind of like pauses or mm. yuck moments i could use one long take and um i only did a small edit at the end but it, it worked out nice yeah. and even that shot you've used quite a lot like me in the shot and the sun was like hitting it oh the it's flare. such a nice yeah, yeah. it's like a nice little like, there's a nice little like, end to a long take shot yeah. Yeah. yeah what was your hardest day on set i think when i can't remember when but i remember it was right in the middle and i just remember getting really flat I, I was getting a bit um war, fl- yeah flustered with um <laughs> Frustrated. <laughs> Frustrated is that a word? No. <laughs> Flustered like... because with lines and things, because there were some like really heavy dialogue things like about the scene with Pat, and I just remember not being prepared. And in the car there, I was like running lines with Pat, and I was like, oh my god, I can't do this. Is this where you talk behind the curtain for the first time? <laughs> no, it was at the poster. And I oh just remember, god, that's I, a I, hard set. Yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, I was trying to remember everything. Can you remember anything now? Can you say a line now? No. Nah. Oh, I can't remember a thing. Hear me out for a sec. If I can drum up enough publicity using your neon spectrum fans, you could win this competition, take home the $3,000 prize money, and, and buy a new wig for your housemate, and then get all your stuff back, and then move to a new place to live. Okay, just take a breath for a second, and let me make sure I'm hearing you correctly. I'm weird, like, I just let my scripts go out of my head and then let the new ones come in. Some let people me... can, they actually can, like, tell you the scenes, and yeah. I can't do that. It's like, um... But when I see it, I'll, I can... I you can go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I think like, this is the word. Yeah. It was like, um, um, maybe you can, we just go into and get back the money, get, no, no, get no, yourself no, back, yeah. move into a new place, and no, 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 get you back. And I still remember, I laugh, I'm, and, and this is the thing that got me through, I'm very, I can laugh at myself when I stuff up. So yeah. <laughs> I remember my first take, I was like, blah, 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 and I finished, and you were like, and I was like, oh, that was way too fast, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get to say anything. Yeah, I'll do it again. I <laughs> usually like ran out of the scene and panicked. Yeah. I reckon that that was hard. Like when I had a lot, because I wasn't used to. You know, there was sometimes you might have cut a scene, and I was learning those lines, and I'm like, oh no, okay, like get those lines out of my head. Next scene, yeah. like yeah, that. I think for me, it was just that being always prepared and really ready. Because you know, when you're working and doing other stuff, you're a little bit frazzled and yeah. Do you remember? I don't think you knew this, but in an old draft, there was a, she used to sing at a karaoke bar. Cause you asked me if I could sing, and mm. I said no, because no one needs to hear that. But um, <laughs> no one needs to hear. That. Well, she just sang at a karaoke bar. I just wanted everyone to have like a singing. That would have been cute. They're like a little duet or something. Yeah, I, re- I remember that she sang, and then Leonie takes. You went home with, and Frank walked you home. This is a scene, like a yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Axel gets taken to a gay bar with, with, with Leonie oh. and he was like dancing on the dance floor, but just didn't, uh, didn't do it. Damn. So the cast and crew screening, mm-hmm. how was that for you? Cause this is the first time you've watched yourself on a screen with an audience. I remember getting really sweaty palms. I was really oh. nervous. No, I did. Like, I was like, <laughs> <No>. hey, <laughs> like that sweaty palms. Um, I, yeah, it was, I mean. To be honest, it was such a nice moment to have like my family and friends and to see everyone again. I mean, unfortunately, Josh couldn't be there, but um, yeah, I just I remember being really tense, really nervous, and I, I still laugh at this. Like, you know, we had the credits at the start. Yeah. My name comes up, and yeah. Mum just goes, "Steph, that's your name." And I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, Mum, be prepared. I mean, this is quite a lot." And she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. "You're the main character." I'm kind of in it the whole time. <laughs> And um, yeah. and it was funny with um, Maureen and her oh husband. My God, she was so cute. So she, Maureen, who um, plays, can I say? 
Well, she plays one of the characters. Yeah, that, she doesn't yeah, really have a name. She's in the story. We call her the fluffy, the fluffy muffy lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, oh, I can't talk about um, that. Um, but so she cut. She came in not really knowing because I thought I explained it to her that mm, it was a a full length film, thing, but she didn't know. I know I think, her, her husband came up to me and said, "Like, I expected a short movie. I didn't know it was a long movie." And <laughs> you were telling me Maureen thought the same. And she came over to me afterwards and she's like, "Oh, that was." That was very good, Sam. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And I'm like, yeah. She's just like, oh, it was cool. And Trevor, oh, it was quite good. I was like, yeah, oh. um, she was so cute. But um, yeah. and, and also my friend Shirley from Williamstown Little Theatre was in it, who played the crazy lady. Oh, I just love her. She's just great in it. Seeing steal up. She's such a steal. Uh, and I just remember the ice cream. We went to Macca's the first time. <laughs> Before this scene, do you remember? And there's some footage of Josh eating the leftover <laughs> ice cream, and I'm so. He was at it, and he's like, I want to have ice cream by the end of this scene. I'm like, all right, have the ice cream. Have the ice cream, Josh. Jeez. Who was your favourite character besides you? Oh. I have to say, she was totally minor, but I freaking loved her. It was the door bitch. Oh, Anna, yeah. Anna was great. Like, she just rocked up with her hair and everything. I was like, yes, like, I love you. You're so spunky. I just, I really liked, she, you know, and that's a true testament to char- uh, actors that make the tiniest character great. Like, mm. she could have just been some boring, like, hi, and yeah, 20 bucks. It's uh, 20 bucks each. 20 bucks? Yeah. Come on, mate, you know me. Yeah, but I don't know you're floozy. Excuse me? I'm just trying to help her out. Come on, let us in. No. See a sign that says Axel's floozies get in for free? Don't bust my balls, all right? It's 20 bucks. Yeah. I like all what we've said before, uh, Shirley. Oh, Shirley. And Fluffy Muffy Woman. Fluffy! I... Fluffy Muffy. I, every time I watch this film, I am just... I, I fall more and more in love with Gail and you as an actress. I just love what you did with the character and I'm so grateful that you... you took a chance on me, as Abba would say, <laughs> and um, and trusted me and just was there and and you helped with so much. You, Steph Carl, helped cast some of the smaller parts and you were just on it. You, I would just say, Steph, I need an old lady, I need this, and you would find it and I wouldn't even meet some of these people before you'd even, like they would just- Fully trusting me. That I fully trusted fun. you that this actress would be alright. I would speak to them briefly on the phone, they would come on set and it was- Some of them I didn't even talk to, I don't think I spoke to Shelly, I think Shelly just rocked up. Mm, in just, costume, she was- In great. costume and you said this and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still convinced she's homeless, like, you know. She's not. But anyway, thank you, Sterling. <laughs> it's like that all good. Is it I'll a hand? I'll give you a handshake and i like, is it like a handshake? It's like an Emma Stone yeah. Is it a handshake? Is it a hug? Yeah. Is it a half kiss? Mm-hmm. But, um... Church, what was it like to be on the neon spectrum? Well, as an extra in the, um, nightclub, it was, um, <laughs> really special. <laughs> I felt like I had conveyed a um a bar fight pretty well. You did. You did. I, I totally believe it. Was it. Very no one asked me to be a bar fight, but I actually I thought you know what I'm gonna make this character a bar fight because you know what I I found out there are no small parts only small actors. What um kind of character research did you do for that role? And uh, you're small. Um. <laughs> what a wanky question. <laughs> <laughs> well. So I, 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 I used to Stanislavski's method. Oh, yeah. I believe in becoming the role, becoming the character. Has yeah? he developed a drinking so problem? So I, I, I did. Yeah. You know, I think it's important to just become your, your character. Hey, um, do you want a strepsil? I've got something. Like, I, I, so oh, moving okay. on to another question, so we have something else to talk about. Do you so, want to talk about my audition more? Yes. That was like 14, 15 minutes. <laughs> I, remember, <laughs> I remember, I won't say who, but one of the panellists... <laughs> was really infatuated with your chest hair and you were wearing like a little singlet. Yeah. And, what the hell is and, going on in this audition? Yeah, and it was like... And, I did feel quite objectified in this process. <laughs> and she's but, just like, oh, I shouldn't have said cheek because there was only one girl. Like, <laughs> she, she was like, I just want to run my face into it. And I'm oh, just like, oh, was that? Wow. Wow. it doesn't matter. We won't, we won't mention I, it. It is true. I do love a singlet or a deep V. I got some... You and then, and then on the... Yeah. During when Not we... Today, so. When we created your... Oh, like he pulls it down, just get a it's bit of hair. Awesome. And we got this. What does? How many pixels? So when we, so when we, and I know, I do know that you like showing off your chest hairs because it's the only hair on your whole body. Look, if you but, got it, flaunt it. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you've got something there, you might as well show me. Is that crazy? Do you do this? Yeah, I, I 
not use it. Um, it's all usable. But when we yeah. created... Chapter 2, body hair. 